Hey guys, it's your boy Riga here, and I just wanted to make a little beginner guide for Mordow. Now I'm I'm not a professional by any means. I've only got coming on 150 hours of this game, which is not much, and I'm still basically a noob myself. I am quite the beginner. However, I can give some tips on how to. Become an advanced beginner, or a novice, rather than a complete beginner. So, here's all I'm really going to say. Go into local match, go into arena, um, put bot count to 1 on deathmatch, and go ahead and start it. Join the match and click whatever class you want to play with. Um, I've got a... I've got a bit of custom classes, but I'm going to go with this one. Now, once you choose your class, it's going to take a second. Basically, the goal here is is to not die. Okay. I implore you to train yourself against these bots and make sure you don't die. If you can... If you can win a single match against a bot good job um it's there, there's not really much to it so i mean you've got the basic controls you can walk around with the wasd right on mouse and keyboard and then you can click left click to attack and the direction of your mouse, as you click it, the direction you move it in, is going to determine um, the trajectory of your swing, okay? So... And also you can right-click to parry, of course. It's basic, uh... Those are the basic controls, okay? See that? Look at this guy. You fucking bitch. I cut your head off, bitch. Fuck. Oh, shit. You can call him a butthead. Look at that. Also, you can use the scroll wheel. Use this scroll wheel up. Scroll up. To stab. Just like that. He just got stabbed. Call me the booty hole stabber. Because I just stabbed that guy. Look at this. So basically, those are the controls. Um... Just for beginners, you know, those are the controls. Also, you can click F to kick. Okay. See, so click F and you can kick his ball sack and crush his balls. Who knows, maybe he'll like it. Maybe he wants that to happen, so it's good for both of you. And I'm gonna stab his booty hole. Go, um, never be afraid to stab their booty hole right in their anus. Stick it up there. So, yeah. Um, a little higher than the beginning controls is chambering. Basically, if you swing right when the weapon is about to hit you, and you swing in the same direction that they swung in, you can chamber it. Um, you know, this is just beginner shit. I'm not going to get into the advanced details of that, but it's pretty cool. Um, but, but that's not what I would implore you to get used to at first. What I want you to do as a beginner is to learn how to always parry these bots. I'll show you in a second here. He's going to attack me and I'm going to parry. Right click. Right click. Look at the tip of the weapon, and parry. Oh, he fainted me. Okay. He parried. 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 So what I want you to do is just... Get used to parrying. And if you attack right when you parry, you will repost. Which is really good to do. Oh, damn. 
Get fucked, bitch. Um, but yeah. If you can- if you can win this fight without dying, congrats. Good job. That is- this should be your goal in this training, is to just- just win, and win without dying. Um, that's your first goal, and it will take 30 kills to win. But also, there's another- another thing you can do called fainting, which is when you pretend to swing your weapon and then you stop. Um, I think the main control for that is Q, but I have it set to my mouse peripheral, so it's a bit easier for me. Set it to whatever you want, you know. Um, fainting... I'll show you what it can do in a second. If, the, if this bot will, you know, react to it, watch this. You see, he, he stopped his swing. And Im he was forced to parry, because he didn't know it was a faint. He thought it was real life. Um, he thought he was really gonna die. Damn, boy. I like the way you lose them legs, boy. Gonna get kicked. So yeah, um... That's faint- uh, fainting. It comes in handy against real players more than bots. Good players will get used to, um... They will know how to deal with feints, but they can still be very hard to read. And there's one more, I think, one more thing... ...is morphing. So you- so basically, like I said, you have normal swings, and you have stabs. But if you, um... If you do the control of a stab while you're winding up a swing, it will morph it into a, a stab. Like that. I'll do it again. Oh, I failed. Just like that. And also you can do it the other way around. Like that. That's called a morph. It's a... It's another good tactic. You know, morphing and fainting are slightly above beginner, but if you learn them as a beginner, you'll quickly get better at fighting people. Now, not just learning how to do them, but also learning how to fight against them will be your challenge, to be quite honest. Doing them is easy. Fighting against them will take practice, but you'll get the hang of it, and you'll figure it out. See me kick this guy's head around like a fucking soccer ball? That's all he's good for, because he's a fucking bot. So yeah. <laughs> his own body became his mattress. Would you look at that? So yeah, you can also morph with chambers. Chamber morph. And um... Jeez, he loves losing his fucking head. Look at that. Get out of here. Um... So yeah, once you can, once you can beat a single bot, I want you to fight two single bots without dying. If you can beat a single bot without dying, then I want you to fight two bots at once. So it's going to make me wait as if I was a kid, you know, waiting for someone to love me. And now that we're in, the challenge is now doubled. And the point of this is, in this game, you're going to be fighting a lot of people all at once. So, you want to get used to fighting when there's a bunch of people around. So yeah. Also, remember to get used to reposting when you, uh, when you parry, it's really good to do. A lot of the time, anyways. It can be pretty readable. If you just repost every attack, or do the same thing every time, you're gonna be easily read by the enemies. They're gonna be like, okay, all he does is repost an attack, or all he does is morph, all he does is faint. 
So if you only do one tactic, it's gonna be really fucking easy to read, because they already know that's all you do. So, against real opponents especially, not just bots, you're gonna want to mix it up. Although it's really good against bots too, but bots are kind of dumb and stupid and they don't really resemble real players. This is just good for getting your base mechanics down and learning how to pay attention to multiple enemies at the same time. This is uh, really the upside to fighting bots, is just getting down your parries, making sure you do all the commands you want to do correctly, like swinging, stabbing, morphing, chambering, morphing, I already said that, I think, kicking, you know. If you can beat bots without dying, you will be better than a lot of beginners. That's just a fact. Maybe it doesn't seem like much because they're just bots, but think of it this way. Some noobs are even... Some noobs play like bots. Think of it that way. There's people that play like bots. Not everybody. There's really good players out there. In fact, a lot of the players that play the game are a fuck ton better than bots. Um, but like I said, this is just a beginner video. This is just... What I do to practice to make sure I'm not, you know, super fucking dull and playing like a noob. This is the beginner practice that I recommend. And I fucking died. Fuck my tender orifice. Um, yeah, and it feels pretty bad to die against bots, but it feels even worse to die against the level 200. Um, so. Once you're ready, um... Uh, and once you- uh, once you can beat these guys without dying, you know... You're gonna be better than the average beginner, in my opinion. And I could be wrong, you know, I'm not a professional. I am- I'm basically a novice, in my eyes. Intermediate, maybe. I really don't know. But if you get down these basic principles, you're gonna rise above the beginners. Oh, I forgot another thing. Comboing. Yes. I completely forgot about comboing. Good thing I didn't end the video already. If you're still in your swing and you click again, if the swing hits, you're gonna automatically combo. So. Swing, okay. Swing, okay. Quit shielding my shit, you fucking bastard. I'm gonna cut your eyes out. Basically, if you hit your attack and you click while you're swinging, you'll swing again automatically. That's called a combo. It's really fucking good. Really good against, especially against multiple enemies. Because once you're fighting five people and they're all ganging up on you, comboing is really going to make the difference. You hit one guy, and someone else in the crowd you're fighting might not realize you're doing a combo, and they'll get hit by your combo. So, that's another thing you're going to really want to practice, just like all the other basic principles. And, um, I think that might be about it. And remember to kick, um, get used to kicking as well. You're not gonna want to forget that mechanic. But, you know, you'll, you'll figure out the rest later on. Just, uh, don't give up. It's a really hard game. Harder than the hardest fucking cock. And you're gonna get fucked up. Um, mentally, physically, emotionally. You know, you're gonna get fucked up pretty bad. But uh, hang in there and just keep practicing and your skills will get sharpened.